All right, guys, so this is the Halo Infinite official multiplayer reveal trailer that was revealed at E3 uh, 2021. I have not seen it yet, so we're going to check it out and see what the uh, new Halo multiplayer has to offer. A new day is upon us. A new generation built to fight. Together, we are unstoppable. Are you ready? Okay. There we go, that's what I'm gonna see after the gameplay. Gunplay looks smooth. Of course. What gun is that? Okay, I think that's a new weapon. I have not seen that weapon before. The hammer, of course. That was cool, that was like a, a reflector shield reflector or either kind of weapon on his forearm. That's new too. They're really cranking up the uh, mobility on, on this one. Really, really showing that. The ability to be able to move much uh, quicker and differently. Showing a couple of the game modes now. Now, show me what you can do. Man, it's got me wanting to play some uh some Halo. Oh, they twenty twenty one. It's not too far. And it said Game Pass, so it's probably going to be Play Game Pass. Day one with Xbox Game Pass. Yep. All right, so that was the uh, first Halo Infinite multiplayer gameplay trailer, and uh, it was good. It's about what I expected. Um, I did see some things in there that I didn't expect. Uh, like a, a couple of the weapons, there's one weapon in particular that I did not recognize. Um, the one thing I do like about uh, that they have added that I think is going to be a good addition is that, that grapple on the uh, on the arm i think that's just going to give you a better sense of mobility being able to pull off you know just pull off cool things uh give you better mobility over the maps especially in multiplayer um and then the ability to like pull a weapon to you to to be able to use it i just feel like people are just gonna be running around just pulling weapons <laughs> trying to like you, two guys are gonna come to a weapon and your first thing you're gonna see is the grapples go out of course so you're not gonna be like traditionally picking up weapons like you used to on the old games it's just going to be a lot of cable ropes flying I'm, I'm, I'm predicting but uh but now all in all it looks good i'm really hoping the halo infinite's a good game uh ever since five i mean i liked all the halos up until really five i didn't really enjoy five too much it just wasn't my kind of thing um i like that they are you know evolving the genre because i mean this halo has been around for so long that eventually any kind of game or series that's been around as long as it has you have to evolve it i mean look at god of war for example any kind of first person shooter call of duties i mean they're for a while they you know everybody they are a lot of rinse and repeat but they do also add new things they're always looking to expand their uh how their games play and everything like that so i think that halo has to do that also i just hope that they make i hope 343 makes the right decisions um, multiplayer wise as far as keeping it the game competitive and fun to play but also the right decisions r campaign wise because the thing about halo is <clears throat> like call of duty you can get away with a bad campaign and you're, i mean heck some of them don't have campaigns they just have multiplayer battlefield same way you can get away with a bad campaign in battlefield as long as your multiplayer is good but halo is one of these games that the campaign is so 
ingrained in the series because of the original games. I mean, the very first game, it was really all about the campaign. I mean, you had multiplayer, but this was really before Xbox Live. This was before, I mean, Halo 2 is what made Xbox Live big. I mean, I was there. I know that. I mean, I grew up with these games. But Halo 1, I mean, I played for hours and hours, just the campaign. I beat it on every single difficulty multiple times. I mean, the, the for better or worse, that game, Halo, has to have a campaign, and it has to be a good campaign. Um, and people seem to like the story of Master Chief, and I like his stories too. But I don't think it would hurt, necessarily, for them to branch out into other storylines like they have in the past, like with Halo Reach. I really love Halo Reach. Uh, Halo 5 was a miss. They, they tried to do something that was too... Just didn't like it. I didn't, I didn't like the, the, the thing. Either if, if it's if it's a game with Chief in it and it's about Chief, play Chief. Other than that, just have a new Spartan, new squad, whatever you want to do with it, do something like that. Or like ODST. I even enjoyed ODST. I know some people didn't. I enjoyed it. I, like, I enjoyed being able to play from the concept of an ODST Marine. Um, so you can do things like that, but... My point of saying that is that Halo is one of those games that it can't just have a good multiplayer. It's got to have a solid campaign, too, or it needs to have a solid campaign. The campaign, it could have a great multiplayer and the campaign suck, and all you're going to hear about on the Internet is how bad the campaign is, period. That's just what you're going to hear. You know, The, the multiplayer is going to be fine because they have the formula. It's kind of hard to mess up Halo's multiplayer at this point, let's be honest. But the campaign really needs to hit, and I'm hoping the campaign is good because... It's about Chief, and for me, that's a lot of nostalgia. So, yeah, i am really got my fingers crossed for Halo Infinite, and I hope it's a good game. Uh, but I guess that's going to be it for me, guys. If you made it this far, I want to thank you for watching. I know this reaction went kind of long, but thank you for hanging in there with me. Um, if you enjoy this kind of content, check out some other videos if you enjoy those. Consider subscribing to the channel. Join the Finfolk Legion. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for me. I'll see you on the next one.